Rainy weekend, the weather is a little dreary, so it's the perfect time to get started on that spring cleaning. That's why we have yeah. Lisa Lelis here this morning, professional organizer extraordinaire. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Of course. All right, so, you know, it could seem so overwhelming. You just, it does. everything is kind of dusty and things, the windows haven't been opened right, in a while. Right. So what, how do you recommend We've tackling it? We've been hibernating it? for a lot of months this winter. Mm -hmm, but, mm -hmm. and, the, and the key is, like you said, it's finding the time. You know, we do have time this weekend maybe because of the rain but um, but and the, and the, the really thing to remember is you don't have to do it all at once it doesn't have to be a big daunting task so I always suggest you know Miss Organizer and me is you know make a list of certain projects you do want to get done this season um, so that you can get out and enjoy and have your house done and you and really it is is just finding a, a pocket of time each day even if you just have 15 to 30 minutes a day and say all right today I'm gonna work on you know the the windows in the family room and the kitchen or something baby like that baby steps baby steps Steps. Nothing feels better than crossing something Absolutely. off a list. Absolutely, so divide it. Stock up on supplies. Okay. If you have two levels in your home, I suggest having a completely stocked cleaning supply bin upstairs and downstairs, so you're not running back and forth. I love that. You know, um, a new welcome mat? Uh, you you want to change it you, out? I'm telling you, ru uh, the um, the doormats keep 80% of the dirt out of your home that gets tracked in. Wow. So many people use the same doormat outside year after year after year. The fibers are no longer holding any, you know, grabbing any dirt. So inside, this would be an inside one inside the door, and then an outside one that's got some, you know, bristles, some bristles that can take in um, some of the, uh, you know, the dirt. How often do you recommend changing them uh, out? Once a year, change it out, or you know, if it if it's a good quality, maybe a couple of years, if, as long as you're cleaning it in between. But really important step, things to do, you know think about then. That's a great tip. I yeah. had no idea. Little things. I mean, you can use dryer sheets to, to stuff in boots that you're putting away for the for the summer, for the, you know, for the spring and summer, um, in suitcases and in drawers, open, you know, little bars of soap that you might have taken from a hotel or something. Those are great little fresheners. It keeps moths away. It keeps things nice and fresh. Ooh. And also, you know, even taking things like baking soda. If you have any carpeted rooms, do that the night before. And then the morning after, vacuum it up just to get the, the aroma smelling nice. Just, you know, you want to get everything clean smelling again. You're right. It's the time to open windows. Maybe not this week. Weekend, no. But, uh, <laughs> and we want the windows to start bringing in light, so we really want them clean and sparkly. That's really important, and we don't tend to do windows throughout the year. This might be a time to focus on that. A great window wash recipe, very easy. It's just filling a bucket with um, a gallon of warm water and then a cup of ammonia, a cup of white vinegar, um, using cheap paper towels because there's less lint with bargain brands than ah. expensive ones. So those are the best things to do. And, but the secret ingredient for the window wash recipe is two tablespoons of cornstarch. That will make it streak free, make it and dry really crisp, really quickly. So uh, two, two tablespoons of cornstarch in the solution, um, real easy. I thought you were going to say lemon. Well, well, sort. lemon's also good, but cornstarch is is an added ingredient to to stop the streaking. Wow, that's a yeah, great tip. Yeah, and then think about your closets. Um, one tip that I really like is changing out hangers to all matching hangers, so that all the shoulders of your garments match evenly. Nothing makes a more streamlined <laughs> closet than that's all a lot of work. Work. Start a little at a time, you know, just do a few at a time. Now, do you recommend the wood ones over those felt ones? I, I love, like the, I I like the, the wood ones. ones. I, I, the felt ones are great, and my kids have those. But if you tend, I work in a lot of people's homes and closets and files and whatnot, and if they tend to over clutter, you know, um, clothes, you can fit way too much with the um, felt ones because they're very thin. That's why I so like them. I <laughs> <laughs> but it's not good for your clothes. Oh. Your clothes really need to breathe. You don't want to stuff your closet. I'd rather you get used to, if you haven't worn a, you know, worn something in a, in a year or two, get rid of it. You know, donate it, toss it. But uh, but that's, you know, one thing is we want to start uh, cleaning out closets. It's another great idea for spring cleaning. Lisa Lelis, I would never want you to see my closet. Oh. After this segment, you're it's not, not color -coded. sorry. You can come over for a coffee, but you can't come over and see my closet. But thank you so much. You're this welcome. was great. Great tips. Good